I pray, Father, that you commune with us this day. I pray that all the presenters, all the lessons that ought to be learned today, that we will learn and not just learn it and leave it, but learn them and implement them in our lives. But I thank you for all the persons that are unknown, for all the persons that are coming on, on Zoom and on YouTube. I pray that you continue to be in our midst, Lord. Help us to be reverent to your day, to your name, to your word. Continue to guide us, protect us, and be with us throughout this Sabbath day, throughout the remainder of this month and this year. In the name of your son, Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Awesome. All right. So to kickstart today's program, we have Brother David Davis, who is going to do a prayer request and intercessory prayer. Brother David. Morning, Sister Tanisha. Morning, sir. How are you? I am doing awesome. Okay. All right. So, good morning, brothers and sisters. Morning, brethren. Morning. Do we have any prayer requests to add to our list? Well, I'm already on the list, but I'm not so hundred today. I don't know. Last night I had a raging headache. Uh, it's not a migraine. I just had a raging headache. So let's pray for me that today everything will go away and, you know, it will be a good day. I'm already on the list. Okay. I am on the list myself and myself have, having a headache that is not so very raging. So my stomach doesn't feel so well and so on. Um, and then I, one of my employers, Mrs. Forrest, is asking for prayer. She wants a place to move, to move her company. Because she has been there for a while, but no, she's coming under some pressure. I think she needs, she needs to go, so she's asking for prayer. But she, meant she, she brought it up to me, mentioned to me, so I said, okay, I'll ask her to for prayer. Anyone else? And, and anyone else have prayer requests to, uh, to, to add to our list? Okay. All right, so since no one else has prayer to um, add in, we could kneel our bow heads and have prayer then, shall we? <laughs> Hello? Hello, am I cut off? No, Brother David, we're hearing you, go ahead. Okay. All right, shall we pray? Father in heaven, we thank you for your love to us. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you for bringing us again to worship you. Thank you for the truth of your word. Thank you for your love. Thank you for sparing our lives. Please forgive us of all our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Peace unite us in love and truth and teach us more of your truth that we may understand your love and walk with you. Please to bless us and revive us and help us, dear God, to stand in these tough times. Thank you for carrying us through all our vicissitudes and thank you for protecting us from harm and danger on a daily basis. Help us, dear Lord, that we will live for you and walk with you and be an example. Bless the fellowship and use it to the advancement of your cause, we pray. We pray that you will remember the persons who are on the, who are listed for prayer. So many of us are listed and we pray to grant us your blessings according to your will. Forgive me of my sins and hear my prayer as I pray on behalf of all your people on this list and all of us in, in the group in the hearing of my voice. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Teach me your word and help me, dear Father, to be established in your truth. But help me to confess all my sins to you that you may forgive, because you are a God of love and you will forgive. So be with us through this day. Grant your healing touch on everyone who is, who is ill and in need of, 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 of healing. Be with Sister.
B with sister C, and everyone else who is feeling pain and suffering at this time. Bless the families represented. Take care of the children. Have that peace will reign in these families. Then God, you see Sister Raymond you know, in our severe illness. We pray that we'll stand by her. Be with Sister, 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 Sister Sylvester's mom in her time of, of old age. And we thank you for standing by her. And every one of us, dear God, we ask you for your love to us. Thank you for your healing. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your strength. Thank you for the strength of our minds that we may grow in your truth and grow in your love. Bless everyone to this day. Bless us all. Unite us and teach us your way. Forgive us of our sins. Be with Mrs. Forrest and other persons who may, who may have needs, various needs. There'll be a God that not only their physical needs will be met, but that they will come to understand your truth and walk in the light of truth, we pray. Deliver us from all evil. Bless us through this day. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, Brother David, um, for prayer request and intercessor prayer. All right, so next item on our list for today, we have Sister Britt Gordon with our Sing Spiration. See you there, Sister Britt. Go ahead. Happy, Happy Sabbath. Sabbath. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Doing good. Thank you. How are you? I'm well. I'm good. Sorry. How is my friend? The little one, not the big one. He's the best of us always. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. I haven't seen him in a while. Yes. Soon. You're Soon. No. All right. Go ahead, please. All right. Have a Sabbath, everyone. So I'll be singing two hymns. The first one is hymn number four in the new hymn now. Uh, Praise my soul, the King of heaven. Hymn number four. Praise my soul, the King of heaven, to his feet thy tribute bring. Ransom, heal, restored, forgiven, who like thee is precious sing. Praise him, praise him, hallelujah, praise the everlasting King. Praise him for his grace and favor to our fathers in distress. Praise him still the same forever, slow to chide and swift to bless. Praise him, praise him, hallelujah, glorious in his faithfulness. Tenderly he shields and spares us, well our feeble frame he knows. In his hands he gently bears us, rescues us from all our foes. Praise him, praise him, hallelujah, widely as his mercy flows. Angels help us to adore him. Ye behold him face to face. Sun and moon bow down before him. Dwellers all in time and space. Praise him, praise him, hallelujah. Praise with us the God of grace. Amen. All right, so the next hymn is hymn 456, new hymn now, My Lord and I.
I have a friend so precious, so very dear to me. He loves me with such tender love, he loves so faithfully. I could not live apart from him, I love to feel him nigh. And so we dwell together, my Lord and I. Sometimes I'm faint and weary, and he knows that I am weak. And as he bids me lean on him, his help I gladly see. He leads me in the paths of light beneath the sunny sky. And so we walk together, my Lord and I. I tell him all my sorrows, I tell him all my joys. I tell him all that pleases me, I tell him what annoys. He tells me what I ought to do, he tells me how to try. And so we walk together, my Lord and I. Verse 4. He knows that I am longing some weary soul to win. And so he bids me go and speak the loving word for him. He bids me tell his wondrous love and why he came to die. And so we work together, my Lord and I. Amen. All right, Sister Tan, handing back over to you. Thank you very much, Sister Bridge. Wonderful, wonderful, lovely songs, lovely hymns to start our day. So um, welcome for those who are just joining us. Welcome, everyone. Um, Sister Lee, not able to host today, so she asked me to substitute for her. That's why you're seeing my face today. All right. So next on our program, we have Sister Genus with our scripture reading. Sister Genus, are you ready for us? Yes, yes. Right. Wonderful. Go ahead, please. Happy Sabbath to you. Good morning. Happy Sabbath. Good morning, everyone. All right. So our scripture reading is taken from John chapter 5, verses 19 to 36. Um, Sister Tanisha, can you confirm that that is it, please? 19 to 36. Nineteen to thirty-eight. The thirty-eight. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So it reads: Then answered Jesus and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, the Son can do nothing of himself, for what he, but what he seeth the Father do, for what things soever he doeth. These also do it the Son likewise. For the Father loveth the Son, and sheweth him all things that himself doeth. And he will shew himself greater works than these, that ye may marvel. For as the Father raiseth up the dead, and quickeneth them, even so the Son quickeneth whom he will. For the Father judgeth no man, but hath committed all judgment unto the Son, that all men should honor the Son, even as they honor the Father. He that honoreth not the Son, honoreth not the Father, which hath sent him. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that heareth my word and believeth on him, on him that sent oh, oh me, hath everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the hour is coming and now is when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God and they that hear shall live. <laughs> For as the Father hath life in himself, so hath he given to the Son to have life in himself. Oh my gosh. And hath given him authority to execute judgment also, because he is the Son of Man. Marvel not at this, for the hour is coming, in the which all that are in the graves shall hear his voice 
and shall come forth that they have done good unto the resurrection of life and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. I can of mine own self do nothing as I hear I judge and my judgment is just because I seek not mine own will but the will of the father which hath sent me. If I bear witness of myself, my witness is not true. There is another that beareth witness of me, and I know that the witness which he witnesseth is of me true. Witnesseth of me is true. Ye sent unto John, and he bear witness unto the truth. But I receive not testimony from man, but these things I say that ye may be saved. He was a burning and a shining light, and ye were and ye were willing for a season to rejoice in his light. But I have greater witness than that of John, for the works which the Father hath given me to finish, the same works that I do bear witness of me that the Father hath sent me. And the Father himself which hath sent me hath borne witness of me. Ye have neither heard his voice at any time nor seen his shape. 38 and last. And ye have not his word abiding in, in, in you, for whom he hath sent him ye believe not. Here in this, a portion of God's holy word. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Sister Genus. Wonderful. All right. So next on our program today, we have Sister Trish Fagan with uh, prayer. Sister Fagan, are you ready? Okay, my brother. Go ahead. Morning and happy Sabbath to you. Happy Sabbath. Father in heaven, we give a thanks to your Lord for another blessed Sabbath. Thank you, Lord, for taking us through another week of toil and labor. And that you have set aside, Lord, this day that you have made for man for us to rest and be refreshed. Lord, we give a thanks and we ask the Lord that you will forgive us of our sins that we might have committed, Lord, throughout the week, oh Lord, even on the sacred hours, Lord, if you have said or done anything wrong, and as is contrary to your will, we ask that you'll forgive us. And that you will tabernacle with us today, Lord, and that you will help us to receive the blessing and the refreshing that you have uh, that you have in store for us. Lord, we are at a time where there's so much that is happening around us. And especially with this um, pandemic or pandemic, it brings a lot of pressure on your people worldwide. You know, almost, Lord, in a sense, as if we have been besieged by the enemy and have lost uh, freedom to socialize and even to fellowship the way we normally do. But as John was on the Isle of Patmos, Lord, you brought the sanctuary to him. You brought the experience to him, though he was isolated from the rest of his brethren. And as we are somewhat, Lord, isolated today, physically from each other, you have seen, have found a way, Lord, to bring us together to fellowship, and we give you thanks. Through this platform, Lord, you have brought us together so we can worship you in spirit and in truth. So we thank you, Lord, for the opportunity, and I pray, Lord, that you help us that as we come together, may we do so, Lord, with a heart of thanksgiving and praise to you. And that all that is said and done be done to the honor and glory of your name. Please be with the rest of your people, wherever they are today, worshiping and fellowshipping, that your grace be poured out upon them, Lord, as you ask to be poured out upon us. We desire to receive the early and the latter rain experience. We pray for it, Lord, because it's that we should pray for the latter rain in the time of the latter rain. Be with us today. Grant us your blessing and your peace. And we humbly ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Brother Fagan. Amen. All right, so next on our next program, program is uh, Sister Sashoy with our health presentation. 
and Sister Sasha's health presentation are always in depth <laughs> into the inner workings of the body. So I'm looking forward to this this week's health presentation. Sister Sasha, are you ready? Yes, I am ready. Happy right. Sabbath, everybody. Yeah. Hi. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Um, can I share a screen? Okay. Hosts. Oh, well, here we go. Right. Is everybody seeing my screen? Yes, seeing your screen. Right. So in light of what is happening around us now, I see this very fitting. So we're going to look at the lymphatic system, um, focusing on hematology and immunology, which is the study of the blood and immune response. So before we begin, let us pray. Our kind and most righteous heavenly Father, we thank you for another Sabbath day of rest. We thank you for this wonderful privilege to gather here in this fashion, despite what is happening. We pray that you be in our midst and take over and take charge. Be with us now in our hearts as we hear from you to take care of our bodies. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Um, Amen. What was that? Okay, so can anybody tell me the difference between phlebotomy and hematology? No. Phlebotomy is the ones where they take the blood, where they just Right. I don't know what the other one is, sorry. <laughs> so that's sorry that's 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 right. 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 What, what? Okay, good. So hematology is the medical specialty that studies the anatomy and physiology of the blood and uses diagnosis tests and um, procedure and blood disease, etc. And immunology is the medical specialty related to the lymphatic system and the immune response. Everybody got it? Blood is categorized as connective tissues because it is it formed elements um, and are produced by the bone marrow of the skeletal system. Blood contains blood cells and blood cell fragments, water, and other substances, um, which are protein, clotting factors, etc. Blood travels in the blood vessels of the cardiovascular system, and the purpose of the blood is to transport oxygen, carbon dioxide, nutrients, and waste products of metabolism. The blood can stop, on its own, can stop its own flow at the site of an injury. So that is what you call the blood clotting. Right. Oh, sorry. What does the Bible say about the blood? Leviticus 17, verse 11 says, For the life of the flesh is in the blood. And Leviticus 17, 14, for it is the life of all flesh, the blood of it. The blood of it is for the life thereof. And then he admonish us not to eat anything with the blood. So we see where the blood is the life, right? The lymphatic system contains, consists of the lymphatic vessels, lymph nodes, lymph fluid, and lymph lymphoid tissues and organs. It forms a pathway throughout the body that is separate from that of the cardiovascular system. However, some, however, some cells in the blood function as part of the immune response and lymphatic system. 
And the purpose of the lymphatic system is to defend the body against microorganisms, foreign particles, and cancerous cells by means of immune response. So we see here where everything is connected. The cardiovascular system, the lymphatic system, and you see where the digestive system is involved. Plasma is a clear straw colored liquid that makes up 55% of the blood. The formed elements of the blood, um, which are the erythrocytes, which are the red blood cells, the leukocytes and thrombocytes. And they are suspended in the plasma. The plasma contains nutrients from digested foods amino acid, cholesterol, triglycerides, electrolytes, glucose, minerals, and vitamins. Also in the plasma are substance produced by the liver or glands, albumin, conjugated and unconjugated bilirubin, hormones, complement protein and clotting factors. So we see where the digestive system comes in. Plasma also contains creatinine um, and urea, the waste products of cellular metab metabolism. Plasma is about 90% of water, but this percentage can change if there is loss, um, decreased intake of water and increased loss of water from diarrhea, urination, or sweating. Has anybody ever um, give blood? I have. No, I've tried and they tell me no. I have. They told you no? Yes. Because right. I'm highly anemic. So they oh. say, Miss, if we take blood from you, we have to give you about three times what we take. So no, go away. <laughs> OK. All right, because when, when you give blood, they put it in a um this kind of tube thing like uh called centrifuge. What they do is um they put it in a bigger container thing like and it spins like rapidly. And what happened is that um Uh, the heavier parts, um, the form elements settle to the bottom and the clear straw colored um, plasma remains on the top. I'm not sure if I have a picture, yes. So in the middle here, sorry. So we see, a, um, yeah, so the middle one, so that is what it looks like. And then you see the, um, the red thing settle at the bottom. So all of this is the plasma. I got distracted, sis. Was that the when the blood is taken? Yes. Oh. For testing. Okay. You mean like putting down for a while or just after it's taken? That's what it looks like. After it's taken. No, it's when it spins quickly. They're going mm -hmm. to put it in a machine thing and it spins. And oh. the heavier thing settles at the bottom and this is what is left. The, um, that is the what? plasma. So that's what they check? Yes. Oh. So it's like um, oil and water, which don't mix. But that happens instantly when you mix in oil and water. This happens when you spin it, like. Oh, so that's the process. Mm -hmm. Electrolytes are elements that carry a positive or negative electrical charge. Everybody used to do this in like chemistry and so forth. I never used to like chemistry. But anyways, electrolytes in the plasma include sodium, potassium, calcium, chloride, and bicarbonate. And those are the chemical formulas for those um, minerals. 
Sodium plays an important role in maintaining the volume and pressure of the blood. Hence why you're not supposed to take too much or too little. Sodium, sodium, potassium, and calcium are important in the contraction of the heart and skeletal muscles. Calcium is also important during blood clotting and in the formation of the bone. Bicarbonate acts as a buffer to maintain the normal pH of the blood. Thank you. And this is a little fun fact. Did you know blood tastes salty because the electrolytes, sodium, and chloride in the plasma are the same ingredients that make table salt? I sometimes taste my blood when I get a cut, I like taste it. I'm afraid of blood, so I don't know upon it much, but that's interesting. Yeah. That's the reason, Sister Sasha, why we shouldn't have a salt-free diet. Because a salt-free diet doesn't help in the development of um, uh, blood or carrying the, the minerals that we, that we need to our system, our cells. Yes, yeah, sodium is very important for all of this, but not too much. Does it help in the cutting? Yes. Yeah, but it's a type of salt too, my sister. Table salt, no. <laughs> definitely. Mexican Himalayan, definitely. I, I was about to say. You want the one you that want are the one hot? That are hot. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, Hematopoiesis is the process by which all of the formed elements in the blood are produced. It occurs in the red marrow of long bones or flat bones. And this is such as the sternum, ribs, hip bones, bones of the spinal column, and bones of the legs. So those are the long bones and flat bones. Every type of blood cell, either red or white, um, and blood cell fragment begins in the bone marrow as a very immature cell known as stem cell. So when people give blood, well, say for instance, someone is has leukemia, they always do like stem cell research for for the immature cells, which later develop, so they can test whether it's going to be, whether it's fit or etc. Parasites, um, which are red blood cells, are the most numerous of the formed elements suspended in the plasma. They are round, somewhat flattened, red disc, depressed center where the cell is not as thick. It is paler in color and are unique because unlike other body cells, they have no nucleus when they are mature, so they die easily. The red blood cell contains hemoglobin, a red iron containing molecule, and it is this molecule that binds to and carries oxygen from the lungs to cell body, to every cell in the body. Hemoglobins bound to oxygen is known as oxyhemoglobin. And it also binds to and carries carbon dioxide from cells back to the lungs. So if you look at the um, circular system, circulatory system, or I should say the cardiovascular system, which will explain all of this with the oxygenated blood and the deoxygenated blood from the lungs to the heart and how it goes, the flow of blood. Red blood cells develop in the red marrow from stem cells that become, er that become erythroblast, then normalast. 
They are, so it is a process how they mature. They are released into the blood in a slightly immature form known as reticulocytes. Within a day, the reticular sites become a mature red blood cells, which has no nucleus. The body produces several millions of red blood cells every second. Anytime the body experiences a significant blood loss, the kidneys secrete erythropoietin, a hormone that dramatically increases the speed at which red blood cells are produced and become mature. So, so every system is involved together, works for every purpose. So we are very wonderfully made. This wasn't an accident. Leukocytes or white blood cells include five types of cells, each of which plays a unique role in the body's immune response. Leukocytes include neutrophils, eosinophils, basophils, lymphocytes, and monocytes. You can, you can identify each type of leukocytes by the presence of or absence of granules in its cytoplasm and by the shape of its nucleus. These differences can be seen when leukocytes are strained and examined under a microscope. Because I mean, we can't see the cells with our naked eyes, right? Any leukocytes with many large granules in, the, in its cytoplasm is categorized as granulocytes. And these include neutrophil, eosinophils, and basophils. Those with few are categorized as A granulocytes. Neutrophils are most common are the most common leukocytes. They make up 54 to 62% of the leukocytes in the blood. Neutrophils develop in the red marrow from stem cells that become myoblasts. Myeloblast, sorry, and then myelocytes and then bands. So as again, it's a process how they are mature. A band, AKA stabs, is an immature neutrophil that has a nucleus shaped like a curved band. There are always a few bands present in the blood during a severe bacterial infection. The number of bands rises as the need for more neutrophils increases. So once there is an um, infection or infection, a lot of things happen, right? The neutrophils just fly through the roof because that is what um, goes to the site and engulfs the bacteria and eats them and they die on the spot, right? Neutrophils are blood cells, but they are also part of the immune response of the lymphatic system because they are phagocytes that engulf and destroy bacteria. Neutrophils only live a few days or hours if they are actively destroying bacteria. One neutrophil can destroy about 10 bacteria before it dies. Wow, oh, awesome. So eosinophils eosinophil, uh, make up one to three percent of the leukocytes in the blood. They develop in the red marrow from stem cells and they are blood cells, but they also play parts in the immune response of the lymphatic system because they release chemicals to destroy foreign, foreign cells such as pollen, animal dander, dust, etc., and they kill parasites. And they are the least common, um, basophils are the least common leukocytes. There are not many of them. And they make up 0.5 to 1% of the leukocytes in the blood. 
They develop in the red marrow from stem cells and are cells, but they also play part in your immune response because they go to the site of tissue injury and release histamine. And histamine dilates blood vessels and increase inflammation. Let me read that again. Histamine, um, the basophil release histamine at the site of injury and it dilates the blood vessels and increase inflammation. Basophil are also part of the blood clotting process because they release heparin, uh, which is an anticoagulant that limits the size of a blood clot to the site at the site of tissue injury. Sis, that sounds like a, pol uh, a, um, a medical team on spot. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I, I, before you go to the hospital, you get the, the paramedics come and do whatever they do, and then you go to the hospital. So that's like the pre thing. Thank you. But they even get to it because it's, it's after the wound, it rushes to it. It is basically mm -hmm. dealing with stuff until who should come along, come along. Right. That is awesome, fearfully being made, mind blowing stuff. I know. I know, right? I mean, it's not an accident because everything is so well thought out. One thing happened and it leads to another. Everything's coming to be. Listen to me. Oh, sorry. The system is connected. Oh, right. so lymphocytes make up 25 to 35% of the leukocytes in the blood. They are the smallest leukocytes. Some lymphocytes live for just a few days while others live many years. Sister, so sorry. Lymphos Pardon? Uh, five minutes, my sister. Just a five minute. minutes. Okay, thank you. Lymphocytes develop in the red marrow from stem cells that become lymphoblasts, and lymphoblasts mature in the red marrow become B lymphocytes or B cells or the NK natural killer cells. So you see everything just connected? Other lymphoblasts migrate to the thymus and becomes T lymphocytes, which are the T cells. Lymphocytes are blood cells, but they are also part of the immune response of the lymphatic system. B cells produce lymphoblasts. Wow. So we see how important our blood is and what everything do in the blood. Hence the need, my sister, for us to eat properly so we can have good blood. Correct. Monocytes make up three to seven percent of the leukocytes in the blood. They are the largest leukocytes. A monocyte has a large amount of cytoplasm that contains few or no granules, and, it, and its nucleus is large and kidney being shaped. Monas or the monocytes develop in the, red marrow, in the red marrow from stem cells that become monoblasts and then mature monocytes. Monos are blood cells, but they are also part of the immune response of the lymphatic system because they are phagocytes that engulfs and destroys microorganisms, cancerous cells, and dead leukocytes, and the cellular deb debris. Monocytes in the lymph nodes, intestine, liver, pancreas, thymus, spleen, bone, and skin are known as macrophage. Quickly, we have the thrombocytes, and these are also called platelets. And it is different from other blood cells because it is, the only, it is only a cell fragment. Platelets are active in the blood clotting process. You know, when a mosquito bites you, what do they take? The platelets, right? Platelets are actively in blood clotting process. Only within seconds of an injury, they form clumps to decrease the loss of blood. Platelets also contain some blood clotting factors that begin the formation of a blood clot. 
an individual platelet begins in the red marrow as a stem cell and then becomes a mega carrier blast. Then it matures into a mega carrier site, a very large cell with a cytoplasm. The cytoplasm of the mega carrier site break away to the edge of a, to form a cell fragment that are released in a blood clot into the blood. Sorry. When, it all, when all of the cytoplasm has broken off, the nucleus of the megacyte is recycled to build other cells. So our body build Our body, thank you. Our body <laughs> repairs itself. This is so awesome. How much time do I have, sister? You have one minute. One minute. Okay, I'm just gonna read this slide. The different blood types. Every, everybody know their blood type? I don't know mine, but. Each person's red blood cells have inherited material that determines the blood type. The most important blood type are the A, B, O, and RH blood groups. Although there are 22 other minor blood groups, like each blood group is named for its antigen um, or its protein molecules on the cell membrane of the red blood cell. So in the ABO group, blood group contains A, B, A, B, and O antigens. A person with type A blood has A antigen on their red blood cells, etc. Same for B, A, B, and O, A, B. A person with type O has neither A nor B antigens. In addition, each person's plasma contains antibodies against blood types other than its own. So the blood type O is the world universal donor. You can give to anybody with either A, B, A, or A and B blood type. Capiche? So I will hand here. I will hand here and pick up next time, hopefully. Hope you guys learned something. Certainly. <laughs> Back over to you, sister. Thank you, sister. Sexual. Yes, uh, definitely learned something that we have to, um, no matter what, we have to ensure that we're putting the right things in our body so that our blood can be pure um, because it's our blood that carries the life throughout our body, right? And with unclean and unpure blood, it's gonna cause a whole lot of problems that we don't want, um, or that we don't need, I should say. So thank you, Sister Sasha, that was very informative. Um, as I say, you always go take a deep dive into the cells of the body to teach us how to build from the inside out. Um, and the preventative aspect of it. Thank you, my sister. All right, so next we have Brother Kino with our musical item. Brother Kino, are you ready? Hi, Sister Tanisha. Good hey, morning, my brother. Hey. Happy Sabbath. How are you? I am good. How are you doing? I'm wonderful. How is Sister Chantal? She's good as well. Awesome, awesome. All right, over so to you. All right, thank you.